Hello, my friends. I have something very exciting that I want to show you. But first, check out my new intro. Isn't that fun? One of my viewers sent me an email recently and said, hey, I love your videos and I'm a motion graphics artist and I wanted to make this for you. So she did. How cool is that? Okay, it is time to unveil the brand new Priority 600X Adventure Machine. Here we go. Ta -da! Get ta -ta -da! <laughs> there it is. She's all dressed up and ready for her big adventure debut on the Great Divide Trail, but I think I should take off all the bags to give you a real good look at the beauty of this bicycle. Ta-da! Oh man. Can you see the smile on my face? Can you, can you zoom in? Look at this smile. I have wanted a bicycle like this for a long time. Specifically, a mountain bike with the pinion and gates drivetrain. Pinion and Gates is like Simon and Garfunkel. They make sweet, sweet music together. They belong together. I've been using a setup like this on my Priority 600 for about two years, and I've barely had to do anything to the drivetrain. It just always works. The carbon drive lasts three times longer than a chain, and you never need to lube it. The pinion gearbox is completely enclosed and protected from the elements. So you can ride through mud and snow and ice. And there's more gears in there than any other drivetrain on the planet. For example, a SRAM Eagle setup has about a 525% gear ratio change. The pinion has a 600%. That means from top to bottom, there's a 600% change from the teeniest gear to the biggest gear. And as an added status bonus, it looks like a single speed. And people are like, wow, you must be really strong. You're riding a single speed. Nope, far from it. <laughs> Here's the story about how this bike came to be. For the past few months, I've been working with Dave and Eddie over at Priority, dreaming up this perfect adventure machine. We've been sending ideas back and forth, design ideas, components, all that different stuff. And this, is what we got. The creation of this bicycle has been a true collaborative effort and a really fun process to go from an idea on paper to an actual bicycle. But it's not finished yet. And we figured the best way to test this prototype out would be to ride it down the Great Divide route. You heard me right. I'm taking this bad mama jama down the Great Divide route from the border of Canada in Montana all the way down the spine of the Rocky Mountains to the border of Mexico in New Mexico. Now, the route traditionally starts in Banff, Canada, but because of COVID, they aren't letting Americans into Canada. And for good reason, perhaps. <laughs> I'm sorry, I realize that I haven't given you all the details about this bike. Here we go. This is my favorite WTB saddle, the Pure, and my butt really likes it. We've got some salsa handlebars here with a tiny bit of back sway to make it more comfortable riding long distances. This right here is a dynamo hub which generates power as the wheel turns. And then all of that pedal power gets sent up this cord right here. This guy, this is a light, but I am mainly gonna use it for this USB outlet right here to plug in my power packs and other devices. And since we're over here, let's talk about the shocks. Yes, the first priority bike with suspension. This is a 100 millimeter RockShox Reba fork. I've been testing it out for the past two weeks and it just makes life so much smoother. These tires are the WTB Ranger 2.25s. These won't come with the bike, but they are my favorite Shimano SPD pedals. This is the pinion shifter right here. Super smooth. Hydraulic four piston TRP brakes. Definitely gonna need those. The trail goes up about 200,000 feet and down 200,000 feet. So brake power is definitely necessary. The frame is aluminum. I even got to pick out the color 
and check it out. Priority made me some awesome get out there decals. We've got mounts here on the top tube, here and here on the bottom tube, even on the rear triangle, and those will be used for extra bottle cages or gear. And if you ever wanted to know what Priority's address was, it's right here, 174 Hudson. That's in Manhattan. Ta-da! There you have it, my friends, the Priority 600X Adventure Machine. This bike is gonna be awesome for bike packing. It's also just an awesome bike to go mountain biking with. And you might be thinking, Ryan, it's not fair that you're just showing off this amazing bike and not telling us how to get one. Well. The idea is that I'm gonna test this thing, we're gonna finalize it, we're gonna make it as good as it can be, and then we will start taking pre-orders. If you want information about this bike, I will link below a link to the Priority website that will put you on an email list and keep you up to date with the progress of this bicycle. Now you're probably thinking, how much does an amazing bicycle like this cost? Well, for you, I make special price, special price just for you. But the truth is we don't know exactly how much it's gonna cost because the components aren't locked in. I would say, I would guess that it's gonna be between three and $4,000, which is a very good deal for a mountain bike with pinion and gates. Usually those types of bikes start at about $5,000. So like I said, hit the link below, it will direct you to a website and you'll stay up to date with the progress of this bicycle and the release date. Let's talk about this adventure, the Great Divide Mountain Bike Route, GDMBR. This is something I've wanted to do for about 10 years, but for one reason or another, I just haven't made it happen until right now. I leave in two days. And the truth is, I wasn't planning on doing this adventure this summer. I was gonna go to England with Dana and we were gonna ride Land's End to John O'Groats, but obviously, again, we can't really travel, so I looked at doing something closer to home. And what better way to social distance than to ride my bike in the middle of nowhere for 2,500 miles. Here's the bad news. I am not going to be producing videos while I'm out on the ride. I'm gonna wait till I come home and then gather all my footage and then start releasing the videos. You're gonna have to be patient with me. But the best way to stay up to date with what's going on is to follow my Instagram at Doozer, and also when I have reception, there's not gonna be a lot of reception, but when I do have cell phone reception, I'm gonna try to do some YouTube lives, which should be really fun. Before I go, I wanna give a huge shout out of appreciation to Dave and the team at Priority Bicycles. They have been supporting me for the past few years, and they are making this upcoming adventure a reality, so thank you so much, I hope to do you proud. And for all of you out there who are interested in this bike, again, I will link below the details for the upcoming release of the Priority 600X. All right, whew, that was a long video. Thank you so much for watching my videos and subscribing and telling all your friends to subscribe and watch. It makes a huge difference. It's an honor for me to be able to share these stories with all of you. So thank you so much, and I will see you down the road. Wait a second, I'm not quite done. I want to thank all of my Patreon supporters. You have been crucial in keeping this channel going over the last few months during the pandemic. I've lost a lot of jobs, and so Patreon is really keeping this channel chugging. And I know it's a time where a lot of us may not have extra money because we don't know what's gonna happen with this whole thing that's happening. So I appreciate your generosity more than you could ever know. So I'm sending you all big hugs, and now the video's done. Bye.